There was a time in this fair land when the railroad did not run. In the wild majestic mountains stood alone against the sun. Long before the white man and long before the wheel. When the green dark forest was too silent to be real. But time has no beginnings and the history has no bounds. As to this burdened country, they came from all around. They sailed upon her waterways and they walked the forest tall. Built the mines, mills, and the factories for the good of us all. Hey, it's a great day. Today's day 13. Heading out of Cajon Pass. Uh, had a great night at the hotel and now heading up into San Gabriel Mountains, uh, which includes Mount Baden Powell, uh, which is one of the two uh, larger peaks in the desert phase of the Pacific Crest Trail. So I'll be doing that probably tomorrow. Uh, I'm right now up underneath Interstate 15. And that's why it's all dark here and you're hearing a bunch of noise and a train's coming. So it's going to be a great day. Get up in the hills again where it's nice and cool. It's quite hot down here in the, in the valley. It's going to be good. Short trivia, if one is doing a northbound on the Pacific Crest Trail, when one heads through the San Gabriel Mountains, which run north of Los Angeles, the trail actually travels south and west before turning, turning north. So just one of those little factoids about the uh, PCT and how it winds through the mountains. About five miles out of Cajon Pass is this water cache maintained by the town of Wrightwood, which is further up the trail. Now this is the only water in a 28 mile stretch. And so filling up here and then it's 23 miles that I've got to go before I've got any any water that um, you know is reliable and so I'll be filling up uh, I'll be cameling up and then I'll be filling up my two and a half liters that I normally carry plus an extra two liters of water um, that I'll carry just in case and because uh, it's gonna be a long stretch and it's all uphill from from here to the the next water source so that's gonna a little bit of a a heavy load but no worries all good but I'm glad that the town of Ridewood does this otherwise it would be a 28 mile from Cajon Pass where the hotel was all the way up to that next stretch and that'd be a long long way to go without without any water well coming out of Cajon Pass the nice thing about the trail is it doesn't tease you it just goes straight up you can see it on the other side there and the switchbacks. Comes up, goes up, and that little knoll up there isn't even close to being on the top. There's 
big, big mountains on the other side of that. And it just keeps going up and up and up. So this is night hiking on the Pacific Crest Trail. Hey, it's a great day. Today is uh, day 14. Uh, to finish off day 13, yesterday I hiked uh, 20 miles uh, coming up uh, Mount Baden Powell. Uh, felt pretty good about that considering I didn't start until uh, 2 o'clock. I spent all morning trying to upload the, the last video. I'm just going to have to get more efficient at um, the the administrative side of, of of vlogging i can't be burning daylight like that all the time so um uh, uh, last night i camped at mile marker 362. the good part about those 20 miles is i got most of the uphill climb up baden powell uh, done with uh, yesterday and so while well, of course yeah there is some uphill today uh, most of it was done yesterday, so today should be a really good day. Today I will be summoning Ma Mount Baden Powell. Um, uh, Baden Powell, like San Jacinto, it's the the other uh, big point on uh, the desert section of the Pacific Crest Trail. Um, like San Jacinto, the official PCT does not go to the summit, um, but unlike San Jacinto, it's only a quarter mile out and back on the alternate route uh, to get to the summit. So I'm gonna be doing that today and then I'll just keep driving on. It's gonna be a great day. So there's Mount Baden Powell. So what I need to do is go down to the little uh, saddle there and then head up the, the ridge to the top. It's uh, about a 2,000 foot, once I'm at the bottom, it's about a 2,000 foot um, elevation climb to the top. It's uh, five miles from here. No worries. A little bit more. Be on top of Baden Powell. It's been, uh, it's been a little steep. All good. Morning. It's a great day. Today's day 15 on the PCT. Uh, finished up day 14. I summited Mount Baden Powell. That was an incredible experience. Uh, and then kept walking, wound up doing 28 miles. <laughs> Made the mistake of trying to do five miles or almost six miles of night hiking. Usually that's a very pleasant experience. But I just picked the wrong piece of trail because that was just a slog the whole way. And uh, and so, well, I'm glad it was done, but, but gosh, usually night hiking is a lot of fun. And last night that, uh, that wasn't quite the case. So hey, today, day 15. And what are we doing today? Two big milestones. Well, just one milestone and then one other agenda item. And that is 
I hit uh, the 400 mile mark pretty quick here. Sometime in this morning, I'll hit the 400 mile mark. It's a big deal. And then for the rest of the day, it's just going through the San Gabriel Mountains, Angeles National Forest, uh, enjoying the view and putting miles on the trail. Tomorrow's a resupply day. And so the more miles I can do today, the less I need to do tomorrow it gives me more time to work on the resupply, get cleaned up, that sort of thing. So, so the two things going on, just enjoying the view. It's very pretty and uh, miles on the trail. It's going to be a great day. Four miles of the Pacific Crest Trail is actually closed in the Angeles National Forest because of an endangered species spotted frog. So we road walk that portion. No worries, it's all good. Um, and then we link back up with the trail, take a buckhorn trail up to it, link back up. It's just all part of the process. But in the meantime, there's some white things in the sky. I'm going to point the camera at them. If anybody could tell me what they are, please, you know, put it in the comments on YouTube. What the heck are those things? I have not seen them for two weeks. And I just can't figure it out. But wherever, when they came in, the sun went away. Not really sure the correlation. Anyway, put it in the comments for me, please. Yeah, baby. 400. Too easy. Keep on moving. These are just absolutely spectacular. It's a great day. Today is day 16 on the Pacific Crest Trail. I finished off day 15 by hiking 34 miles. That's uh, 34 trail miles. I probably did probably 38 plus because of the spotted frog endangered um, area and the detour was so long going around no worries i mean need to be done but but it did add it did add a few miles to it and those miles don't count it's only the trail miles that count so it was 34 miles i wanted to do a big day yesterday because i wanted to get myself 20 miles today and that was it to get into the acton koa campground that is right now holding a package for me. Um, and so I'll be able to get in there about mid-afternoon, get cleaned up, uh, and get sorted and get ready for my next big trek in the desert. And, and hopefully that'll put me into Kennedy Meadows. So I wanna get all ready for that. Um, last night and then this morning for about five miles there was a lot of bushwhacking on the trail now what happens is the uh, vegetation on, on the trail on both sides uh, grows to a point where you can't see the trail at all and you just kind of have to push through and hope that uh, the trails on the other side 
and during the day they're in a rattlesnake waiting for you on the other side or like last night there wasn't a, a cougar waiting for me Um, lots of fun, uh, <laughs> lots of fun, um, but yeah, today's going to be a great day. So I think where we'll be going, if you look along here, there's a trail, and then it goes way over on the other ridge line, right to there, follows along. Here, and then down, and then we're heading down in this valley over here, right over there. I think it's all good. So hey, I, I wasn't able to um, finish the video quite the way I wanted to. Um, I was going to show the KOA and and then I was going to rent one of these little cabins and, and show you the inside and my resupply and that sort of thing. But when I got here, the KOA is just packed full of people and I don't like vlogging when, when people are around. Um, I, I ride on a Saturday and uh, all the through hikers, there's about four or five through hikers I met today. They're all kind of tented in one area where I am now. Um, but all the cabins were completely booked from families and family reunions. And I mean, there's a there's a lot happening uh, out there. You know, a lot of a lot of socializing, a lot of socializing. I'll tell you that. Um, uh, so I wasn't able to get one of the cabins. Uh, I did get cleaned up, uh, took a shower, which was real nice, got my laundry done, uh, finishing up the video, charging everything up, and then uh, did all the resupply. And it's probably, I'm thinking, an 8 to 10 day stretch between here and my next resupply, which is hopefully in Canyon Meadows. I'm trying to make it all the way there, you know, great plans of mice and men, but this is mile marker 444. And that's 702. That's a 260 mile stretch. It's quite a bit. It's quite a bit of way to food, but uh, hopefully I've got it all down and uh, we'll see how it goes. It's all good. See you next time. There was a time.